Hi, a tip I want to show you here is I'm just going to work with some type in Photoshop and I'm going to go ahead and apply like a filter to it. So with that layer picked, I'm going to go up to filter and I'll come down, let's say, to uh, stylize and we'll say emboss. Well, it says this type layer must be rasterized before you proceed and that means it's going to convert it into pixels so it's no longer going to be editable. So if it's not the right font, not the right words, not the right size, I'm in trouble. So I'm going to cancel. I'm going to come over to my layers panel and remind you that you can convert this to a smart object. Now it puts the original uh, information in a smart object container. So I can go up here and I can come down to, oh, we'll say stylize again to emboss. And now I can actually perform the effect down there. The effect of emboss can be applied to there. Now, if I want to edit that effect, I can come over to my layers panel, click on twice on the effect name of emboss, and then go ahead and change a few things around. And also, the best thing is I can go ahead and I can click OK. And if the type isn't the right words, the right font, the right size, I can come over to my layers panel and hover over the thumbnail for the smart object. That is, the text has been turned into a smart object. And I can go ahead and click on that thumbnail. And it says you're going to open this up in a separate window. And I'll go ahead and do this. And I'll take my type tool. And maybe I'll go in here and highlight the text. And I'll bring it down in size a little bit, we'll say. How about 72? How about I'll change the font to, well, here's Princeton. And I'll go ahead and I'll close this smart object out. And I'm going to save changes. And I'll close it out of here. Changes, I'll click save. And now it's over here. So now I have the ability, again, Smart object over here in the layers panel. And if I want to remove the emboss command, I can sure go ahead and do that. If I want to try to apply another filter, like a blur filter here, let's say a motion blur, I can go ahead and apply that motion blur right to that text. And go ahead and click OK. So the secret on this little tip is to convert your text to a smart object so you continue to edit it and make any changes you want in the type.